first for Mike McCarthy. Of course, we got Dak Prescott and his leg injury. Andy Dalton takes off. John Bostic comes with the head-hunting hit. Dalton evaluated for concussion, did travel back to Dallas with the team. Bostic kicked out of the game. Dallas loses, and they've got issues, including that play reaction. We speak all the time about playing for one another, you know, protecting one another. Um, so it definitely was, was probably not the response that you would expect. Interesting perspective. Rodney, your thoughts on what Mike McCarthy said about the lack of reactions from the Cowboys? Yeah, I agree with him wholeheartedly. Um, the Cowboys quit today, and for you to sit there and watch your quarterback get knocked out, lay on the ground, and no one comes to his defense, I just I don't understand it. I look at the culture of this team, and they're soft. I mean, you see all those linemen, nobody says anything to Bostic. How could you allow your quarterback to get his head knocked off and no one comes to his defense? But it speaks to the culture. It speaks to the, the selfishness of the Cowboys. And the Cowboys flat out quit today, Mike. Uh, Mike Florio, let me bring you in because you have the other side of it, the side from Washington's perspective. We've talked to Ron Rivera, their head coach. Yeah, Coach Rivera told me that he sought out Mike McCarthy, the coach of the Cowboys, to apologize for that hit. He said that he wanted McCarthy to know that that's not the way his team plays. And Rivera said he also went to John Bostic and said, you're a veteran. You should know better than to apply a hit like that. And Rivera had a broader message for his team before this game. They were 1-5 going in. The NFC East, as we all know, is very bad this year. But Rivera said, look, in 2014, his Panthers won the NFC South with a 7-8-1 record. He said people hated us. But you know what they did? They won the division won a playoff game, and then went to Seattle and gave the defending Super Bowl champions a scare that year. So he's using that to get his guys motivated and believing that they cannot just get to the playoffs but actually make things happen if and when they get there. And on the flip side, it's the mess. Dallas is not scoring any points. We're glad Andy Dalton was able to return to Dallas with the team. Right. Uh, what's at quarterback next for them? Dax out, obviously. They'll check Andy during the week. Ben DiNucci came in and finished the game. He's the seventh rounder out of James Madison. Gary Gilbert sits behind him. It has been a season of woes. Dallas takes on Philadelphia on Sunday Night Football next week. And they still have a chance. Very much.